Hello everyone, Engineering Statistics and Linear Algebra. Today we do discuss uh, two important concepts of Linear Algebra that is uh, Null Space and uh, Column Space. Alright, the Null Space of the Matrix, it is always denoted as Null Space of any Matrix A. This is the notation of a Null Space of a Matrix. Consider homogeneous equation here. So the solution sets of homogeneous linear systems provides an important source of vector spaces. Let consider the matrix A. It is an uh, M by N matrix, M rows and N columns. And consider the homogeneous systems that is always X equals to B. AX equals to 0. Since uh, A is an any matrix, uh, it consists of all sets of vectors x, which satisfy this equation, forms a su subset of uh, space with the n dimensions. This subject is non-empty. Ax equals to 0 is always non-empty. At least it, it will be having a 0 matrix in it. So that is said here. This subset is non-empty since it clearly contains the zero vector that is x equals to zero always satisfies a x equals to zero the a homogeneous system is always a non-empty set at least it will be having a zero vector in it this subject actually forms the a subspace of n-dimensional space called null space of the matrix A and it is denoted as uh, n with the A inside the bracket. So if a matrix A is given then they ask us to calculate the null space of the given expression. At that time denote that matrix A as ax equals to 0 then solve this equation. At the end, we will get one matrix that is nothing but a null space of the matrix. We will see how to calculate null space of a matrix and its procedure and all. A definition of a column space, it is simple. A column space of A is denoted as CA. It is a span of columns of A. Or linear combinations of the vectors. Linear combinations of a vector. So, it is of the columns of A. So, a matrix Consider any matrix here A11, A12, A21, and A22. So, column space of matrix A is nothing but a linear combination of columns of this matrix A. So, that is the result here. We will see uh, what are the procedures to calculate null space and the column space. Consider a simple problem here. Describe the column space and find the uh, basis for the null space. Basis for the null space of the matrix. A equals to 1, minus 1 and 0, 0. The first procedure is to calculate the column space is. This is the given matrix. Let us we find out the column space for this given matrix. First procedure is reduce this given matrix into a reduced echelon form. This is the first step. Convert the given matrix into reduced row uh, echelon form. Just by observing, uh, we can can we say that the given matrix is already in the reduced row echelon form? Yeah, it is already in the reduced row echelon form. The last row is zero. It is the property of echelon form. And a leading one in any row is one uh, leading coefficient. Leading coefficient of this matrix A is one as it is there. The leading coefficient is one. The last row is zero. So these two are the properties of a reduced row echelon form. So the given matrix itself is a, a row reduced row echelon form. Once that is done, then Then calculate the pivots of the columns. Pivots of the columns. Identify the position of the pivots. The rule for the pivot is the starting element of that row should be 1. And also where the 
coefficient is 1 then corresponding column should have all 0 except that leading element consider here where the leading element is present it is present in first row in first element you can observe a corresponding column this is the corresponding column except this uh, leading one the remaining elements are zero if there is a case means this is a pivot of that column all right next to find out the basis for the column space we just use the pivot columns from the original matrix where this pivot is available it is available in a first column then column space for the given matrix is 1 0 this is a simple procedure so to calculate the column space first convert the given matrix into row reduced echelon form later find out the pivots the position of the pivots are the nothing but a column spaces go to that original matrix where pivots are available note down that mat column of the matrix then that will be the answer for the column space of a given matrix a all right first column in this case the first column is the uh, column space of a given matrix because the pivot position is available in a first column all right how to find out a null space of a, a basis for the null space of a given matrix a to find the basis for the null space we perform a augmented matrix by appending a column of zeros to the right and put this matrix in reduced zero echelon form already we have calculated a reduced zero echelon form let us write that matrix in a augmented matrix augmented matrix can be obtained by appending zeros to the right that is done here the matrix is already in a, a reduced row echelon form by putting by adding by appending a zeros to the right it use an augmented matrix so the convert the matrix equations back to an equivalent system this is a matrix so it represents any one of the system so write this matrix in terms of equations that describes the system from the first term from the first row i can write x1 plus minus x2 that is equals to 0 from the first column for, sorry from the first row this augmented matrix represents any system that system is nothing but here x1 plus minus x2 that is equals to 0 this equation is obtained from the first row all right so what about the second row uh, we can also write x2 is equals to x because from this equation from this system this equation can be obtained so what is the meaning of it a uh, 0 equals to 0 all right solve each variable solve for each variables in terms of the free variables means represent the x1 in terms of x2 yeah so from this equation can we write x1 is equals to x2 then x2 is equals to x2 all right represent these two equations in terms of vectors that is collect the terms into vectors yeah these two equations can be written in terms of vectors here x1 x2 that is equals to x2 and x2 yes it is possible later take common factor from the right hand side factor out the variables on the right hand side x1 and x2 is equals to from these vectors from this vector x2 is a common all right so the finally basis for the null space is this vector that is 1 1 this is the answer here the for a given matrix the basis for the null space is this one how to calculate it convert the matrix into a row reduced form write it in a augmented matrix use equations to describe the systems from the first row this is the equation from the second row x2 is equals to x2 
write in terms of uh, free variables x1 is equals to x2 x2 is equals to x2 write these two equations in matrix form take a common from matrix to uh, right hand side matrix then this will be the uh, then this will be the basis for the null space of a given matrix a all right let us we describe a uh, common space column space and null space of a given matrix the first procedure is reduce the given matrix into uh, reduced to echelon form this is the given matrix convert the given matrix into reduced to echelon form I do it is not in a reduced to echelon form it should be converted into reduced to echelon form for that swap row 1 and 2 these two are swapped here next is next is r1 is equals to r1 minus r2 so that what we'll get 1 2 0 and also r2 is equals to 1 by third of r2 what will get 0 0 1 that is written here now the given matrix is in reduced row echelon form by performing these two operations on a given uh, a matrix then find out the pivots of the columns of pivots of the matrix pivots of the matrix the condition is in the row in the row leading coefficient should be 1 and corresponding column should have all zeros except that a leading coefficient so this is the reduced row echelon form find out the leading coefficients it is here and it is here then are they are they a pivots then observe the corresponding column except this uh, leading coefficient all elements are zero then it is a pivot observe this this is a leading element except this all elements of the corresponding column are having a zero values then this is a pivot number one and this is a pivot position number two where they are they are in they are in first and third column they are first in they are present in first and third column so that the column space for the given matrix is only first and a third columns the first and a third columns here that will be the answer that could be the answer so let us we calculate let us we calculate the basis for the null space first step is the first procedure is convert the echelon convert the given matrix into echelon form then write the matrix into augmented matrix form already we have calculated reduced to echelon form by appending zeros to the right we can create an augmented matrix that is written here Redu row reduced echelon form append zero it gives an augmented matrix now write the given matrix in terms of equations that is convert the matrix equations back to equivalent system from the first row from the first row we can write we can write x1 plus 2x2 that is equals to 0 from the first term x1 plus 2x2 0 into x3 that is equals to 0 now one more equation can we write from this equation is third column is the third row is always uh, is already 0 here so that we can write it as a x3 is equals to 0 all right 
solve for each variables in terms of the free variables we can write x1 plus 2x2 is equals to 0 x2 is equals to x2 then x3 is equals to a 3 0 here write this equation in terms of a matrix so in the first let us write these equations in terms of free variables we can write x1 is equals to minus 2 into x2 x2 is equals to x2 x3 is equals to 0 write in terms of vectors LHS can be written as x1 x2 x3 RHS can be written as minus 2 x2 x2 and 0 okay take a common factor from the LHS side it is x2 then the null space for a given matrix is this one this is the answer all right so next let us resolve the next problem describe the common space and null space for the matrix the matrix is 0 0 so something different here let us we see column space to calculate the column space the given matrix should be uh, reduced to echelon form then can you say that the given matrix is already in reduced to echelon form yeah obviously it is in reduced to echelon form because all matrices are zero they are written they are written below the non-zero non-zero row where we don't find any non-zero row here all are zero zero so that the given matrix already in reduced row echelon form then what are the pivots pivots position for a given matrix we don't find any a leading coefficient in the given matrix pivot position is there where the uh, leading coefficients are available here we don't find any leading coefficients then the column space for the given matrix is the empty space it is the answer for this a uh, given a uh, matrix c here we don't find any pivots so that the column space for the given matrix is this matrix empty matrix all right next we find a null space let us we see how it differs from the column space <clears throat> to calculate this null space we are in need of augmented matrix it can be obtained by appending zeros to the reduced zero echelon form this is a reduced to echelon form for this uh, zeros are appended that gives an augmented matrix now let us write this matrix in terms of equations can we write this matrix as 0 equals to 0 yes obviously next solve for each variable in terms of the free variables simply I can write x1 is equals to x1 x2 is equals to x2 x3 is equals to x3 as a result this is nothing but a 0 equals to 0 itself all right let us represent in terms of factors x1 x2 x3 it can be written as x1 0 0 it is nothing but x1 only this can be written as 0 x2 0 it is nothing but x2 itself x3 0 0 x3 it is nothing but x3 itself as a result we will get x1 plus x2 plus x3 so the given equation is written in terms of vectors here all right let us take of factors common factors from the right hand side x1 is common from this so that it is taken x2 is taken x3 is taken then what could be the basis for the null space of a given matrix then it could be 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 it is interesting problem so keep that point in your mind 
so we have calculated column space and row space for a, a given matrix 0 0 0 0 0 0 the column space is an empty matrix but null space is this one all right describe the column space and null space for the matrix the matrix a is given here let us we calculate column space for that reduced row h1 form is needed convert the given matrix into reduced row h1 form for that add r3 times r1 add minus 3 into r1 plus r2 so minus 3 is added to this minus 3 into 1 uh, sorry minus 3 is multiplied to row 1 minus 3 into plus 3 it is 0 it is nothing but r2 column here r2 is equals to minus 3 into r1 plus r2 the first term is 0 minus 3 into 2 minus 6 minus 6 plus 1 minus 5 minus 2 sorry minus 3 into 2 minus 6 minus 6 plus 7 it is plus 1 this is the first operation next is add minus 1 times 3 r1 to r3 that gives an r3 row here r3 is equals to minus 1 times 3 r1 plus r3 do this operation what will get minus 1 is added to this one it is minus 1 into minus minus 1 into plus 1 it is 0 next is what minus 1 is a uh, multiplied to 2 it is minus 2 minus 2 plus 5 it is 5 minus 2 plus 1 it is minus 1 all right next is what add minus 5 times minus 5 times r2 plus r3 plus r3 what will get so this is there or else we can do uh, or else we can do add these two add these two uh, the third call the third row is zero later later divide this second row by a five minus five so this term will be plus one and this term will be minus one by two there yeah, you can do that operation also right that is done here okay so later we want uh, later we want this as a zero then it can be done using this operation then finally we will be having finally we will be having this is the uh, radius zero echelon matrix then what about the column space it can be obtained based on the pivot position what could be the pivot position of this matrix the procedure for the finding the pivot positions find out a leading coefficient of the L of the matrix this is the leading coefficient of this row this is the leading coefficient then what is one more condition accept that leading coefficient other elements are zero yes it is there then it is a, a pivot of the given matrix this is also a pivot of a given matrix then other than these two uh, we don't find any pivots so that it is what column number one and column number two column number one and two of the original matrix are the column space of a given matrix then these two are the uh, column spaces for the given matrix that is written here the third column is not a column space of a given matrix because we don't find any pivots all right now let us find out the null space to calculate that augmented matrix is needed 
it is a reduced row matrix then append 0 we will get a reduced row matrix augmented matrix is obtained express that matrix in terms of equations so x1 plus 12 by 5 into x3 that is equals to 0 then from second row x2 into x2 plus minus 1 by 5 into x3 that is equals to 0 then solve for each variable in terms of the free variables x1 can be written as minus 12 by 5 into x3 x2 is equals to 1 by 5 into x3 then x3 term is not available can be written it as a x3 is equals to x3 because it is 0 collect the terms into in terms of vectors collect the term vectors in term, uh, collect the terms in terms of vectors this LHS can be written as x1 x2 x3 this term can be written in terms of vectors so from that vector take a common it is a x3 here so that this is written then what could be the answer for null space basis for the null space so this is the answer here minus 12 by 5 1 by 5 and 1 this is the answer for this is for the null space of a given matrix A. This is the procedure. Alright, find the null space for the given matrix A. First, make it as a reduced row echelon form. Make it as a reduced row echelon form. This is a given matrix. Now, for this, first add minus 1 times t row 1 to row 2 so this is the procedure to make the given matrix into natural form i have written here you just go through it finally we have obtained this is the reduced row echelon form find out the position of the pivots this is the only two pivots here these are the only two pivots available in this column uh, available in this matrix then they are available at column number one and column number two then column number one and two or from the original matrix gives column space of a given matrix what are column number one and two one one four and one two three these are the column space of a given matrix that is written here then how to find out a null space let us take an augmented matrix write this in terms of equations x1 x2 term is 0 here minus x3 minus 2 into x4 that is equals to 0 then from second row x2 plus 2 into x3 plus 3 into x4 is equals to 0 here we do find of four variables x1 x2 x3 x4 only two equations are obtained from this matrix and another two equations they are x3 and x4 they should be zero here so that it can be written here and uh, from this equation express x1 x2 x3 in terms of free variables that is written here then let us write this in terms of vectors so from the first equation from the first term from the first term see you can write here x3 x3 and uh, minus 2 x4 that is written here from the first term after that we will obtain minus 1 2 as a null space these are the basis for the null space if you found any difficulty in this calculation let me know then I will uh, explain you once again so these are the uh, problems based on uh, null space and the column space here the one more problem is explained if you want to go through it so finally find the null space and the column space all right so with this is with this discussion uh, we do wind up today so uh, we see in the next video with uh, some more important concept that is a rank up a matrix 
so like share comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel we we'll see in the next video if you don't have any doubt means uh, let us me let us me let us me know so that uh, i try to uh, give a solution for your doubts so thank you we we'll see in the next video